Good morning, Lorraine Purcell here. Welcome to Body Talk Friday. Whew, it's been another great week. Another great week. Get this situated. I'm here with my celery juice. Those of you who want to be doing celery juice with me, it's first thing in the morning on a completely empty stomach after 16 to 32 ounces of lemon water to give your, lem your liver a boost and then the celery juice. No food in your stomach when you do this. I'm just gonna give a couple seconds for people to pile on. Just a reminder, I'm here every single Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern at facebook.com forward slash Lorraine Purcell MA. This is the spot where you, as you jump on, will you please say hi in the comments so I can welcome you. Um, this is the place where you are guaranteed to get insight and tap into your own inner wisdom. Get yourself grounded so that you can go out and be a force of nature in your world for good, for good. So um, I'm here every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 a.m. Eastern, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 a.m. Eastern. Put it on your calendars as a recurring event, set your alarm, and your life will never be the same again. People heal in here all the time just from being in this energy. And here's the thing. Um, you know, it's all of our energy together and it keep, I keep coming back to this thing. What are we cultivating? What are we cultivating? What are we cultivating? What are we cultivating? Oftentimes, if we're left to our own mental soup without all this positive input, guess what happens? We start going in a downward spiral. You know this. We want to keep our energy high and clear so that we can be going in an upward spiral and to be more of us. Hey, Steven. Wow. Yes, 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 yes. Woohoo. So put it on your calendar every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern. I'm here for your upliftment to remind you who you are, to bring you back into your power. Please tag and share with anybody that you know who needs this. We are, we are getting the word out in a larger way. Because the reason I do this is I need it. And when we have all of our energy together, when we have all of our energy together, we magnify it. And then once we get our energy high and clear, guess what we do? We send it out to the entire planet. So this is a place of taking care of ourselves first and then giving back to the planet. As you jump on, please say hi in the comments so I can welcome you. So put, your, put it in your calendar every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 a.m. Eastern. Hi, Georgia, darling, in Australia. So good to see you. Um, and I want to know where you're from. Put in the comments where you're from. And newcomers are welcome. Everyone is welcome to just jump in wherever they are. This is uh, like a little online family. Yes, I know. Yes, 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 yes. Um, Steven, you're on my, um, <clears throat> you're on my email list, I believe. So they're in your inbox. <laughs> you must take good care of yourself. Get on my email list by going to three keys to self love.com. The number three keys like you put in your car to self love.com. I send these replays out there in your inbox. So if something ever happens to social media, they're there. If we go to another format, um, I will always put the replays in the email, okay? Email is where you and I are guaranteed to stay connected. If you're not in my email, we don't know, okay? We just don't know. So as you jump on, please say hi in the comments so that I know you're here. So please put it in your calendar every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 a.m. Eastern. Set your alarms, put it on recurring event. Um, you must do this for yourself. Hey, Karen, blessings from Canada. You know, and it's not that I'm the end-all be-all. I'm not talking about that at all, but I have been where you are probably, you know, and I pulled myself out of debilitating depression, lifelong anxiety, pulling my hair out, popping my knuckles and doing self-mutilation self when I was six. I mean, eating disorders when I was six. I mean, I don't want to go into that. It's just, it's over now. It's behind me. 
I've spent my time suffering. I'm through suffering. <laughs> and so this place is for those of us who are, wow, I could end suffering. I could, I could step out of people's drama and bullshit and just stay in my own energy. Joey, happy Friday. I know it's Friday. Oh, I went out drinking with my friends last night. It was so much fun. Um, we all went to the beach and we all, and I ate, I drank hard apple cider and I don't have a hangover. I only had two. And then I had half a shot of Jaeger. <laughs> it just, I love licorice. So it was yummy. So I had so much fun. Yes, 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 yes. So we must, cult what are you cultivating? What are we cultivating? What are we cultivating? I'm constantly feeding myself with positive energy from the mentors that I align with. And if you're here, I feel so honored because I feel like I might be one of those people for you. But here's the thing. We must be steady with the work because the energy dissipates if we don't. I have constant, even while I'm sleeping, it's in my, it's in my ear, okay? Because I, I don't want to go back to where I used to be. And I've, I've paid my dues of suffering. And so now I am, I am just going forward and I'm going up. Kathy, good morning. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, that's pretty funny. <laughs> I don't think I'm too different than now. <laughs> um, so yes, put it in your calendar. I'm saying this for your well-being. We must make our well-being number one, and today's theme is cleaning out, let's see, what is it? How do you word it? Remove the toxic load, remove the toxic load, remove the toxic load, and guess where we get some of our biggest toxic loads? Our loved ones. Love them dearly, sending them love. But you know what? Sometimes we can feel more responsible for them than it is our responsibility. And here's the thing. If you think that you are the person that makes the difference for your family, think again. If you took care of yourself first and let them slog around and figure it out for themselves, you would have more independent and more self-sufficient family members. But if you think you're the one that makes the difference and so you're sacrificing yourself, you are enabling them and um, shooting them in the foot because if they think they need you to survive, and if they are pulling you down, good morning, Verna. If they are pulling you down like the, uh, the ah uh -uh crabs in Hawaii where I used to live, you get these little crabs and you put them in a bucket. And as soon as one tries to crawl out, the other ones grab it and pull it down. It's like, listen, you must take care of yourself first. You must take care of yourself first. And do not get into their drama. It will kill you. But the thing is, if you're still in their drama, here's the truth. There's no condemnation for it because maybe you're just not ready to get out of it yet. But I reached a point, well, you know, in my marriage, really, and then it kind of un unfolded from there, where it was like, no, this was enough. I'd had enough. So you must reach that point where you've had enough because the people I work with, the people who are attracted to my work are the ones who are like said, fuck this shit. I ain't doing this anymore. You have a nice life. See ya. <laughs> and we're going forward. I'm going forward. If you want to come with me, great. But do not hang on my coattails. Do not grab my ankles and try to pull me down because I will not accept it. Who is this resonating with? Who is this resonating with? I'm on fire this morning because I got this beautiful message from this beautiful woman this morning whose family is just eating her alive. No, but that used to be me and it probably used to be you too. So we must really, really take the reins of our life and say, love you, appreciate you, I'm taking care of me. That sounds like that's something that you could take care of for yourself. So I'm moving forward. Take care of myself. Yes, Karen says 100%. Stephen had to let the ties be cut with family. Yes, doesn't mean we don't love him. Doesn't mean we don't feel so sad sometimes about it. I do. 